So we discuss a case of open comminuted fracture, proximal phallus, with a three-month-old follow-up. This patient was a 24-year-old male. He had escaped from bike, injuring his uh, right little finger. He came to us uh, 24 hours after injury. The skin flap was partially necrosed. There was contamination. And on debridement, fracture fragments could be seen. The digital nerve was intact. Digital artery was lacerated, but uh, it was beyond repair. The purpose to present this case, one is about this type of fracture, where there's combination at the base of the proximal phalanx. And this is the area where the flexor tendon is otherwise attached along with this intact A2 pulley. So the A2 pulley is intact. The flexor tendons, of course, being intact, are bound into this. And the fracture is in this area. So uh, what happens is it is difficult to reduce these fractures. You flex the finger to relax the flexor, but that also causes flexion of the distal, distal part of this uh, proximal phalanx and the reduction is lost. So we, from the knowledge what we have in flexor tendon repair, we can bend the A2 pulley. So you can release the A2 pulley to a particular extent and that eases out the flexor tendon. That helps in the reduction. We can retract the flexor tendon and get this reduction done well. Uh, there are situations where the flexor tendon is tented because of these bone fragments and uh, um, uh, or they may get stuck between the two fragments as here uh, at the base region. So the venting of the A2 pulley, the cutting partial cut of this A2 pulley helps in this reduction. The fracture was, uh, the, the wound was divided well, fracture was fixed. It was first fixed with a uh, K-wire through the base. From the base, uh, K-wire was put and uh, it reduced uh, the base uh, thing very well. The second K-wire was uh, uh, from the ulnar aspect and going uh, dorsally, palmer to dorsal. And uh, this was also quite uh, well set. It was, it had reduced the fracture. The third K wire, uh, what I understood was that it was holding well the distal and the proximal fragment. And it was cut short here. But in the post of X ray only, I could uh, see that it was backing out. So it was removed the next day. So now the fracture was fixed with two K wires. It was, and uh, a dorsal slab was applied. And patient, we started gentle mobilization of all the fingers because we had strapped the little finger with the middle with the ring finger, and gentle mobilization was started uh, as per the pain tolerance. Young fellow. Also, what we did was that uh, I harvested a full thickness skin graft from the inguinal region, and I put it in the wound on the. Uh, radial aspect here. So this one we could have left alone, but then you have to do repeated dressings. There can be hypergranulation. There can be non-healing for a long time. If uh, another thing is that if it heals quickly, fast, it may cause, I mean, it can cause a contracture, whether it heals fast or quickly. If, if it is left alone, uh, it will form a scar. It will cause contracture, which may cause some uh, decrease in the range of movement, maybe flexion contraction. So uh, because of that, we did a full thickness skin graft just in this region. This area, otherwise uh, there was no tendon exposed, no nerve exposed. So only this flap was reattached here with DAC sutures and it was left for healing. Patient was non-diabetic, non-smoker, young and uh, we hope that it would heal well. So, so this area uh, healed with that flap, which we had just placed with tag sutures. This area, we put a full thickness skin graft. 
in spite of this, part of it has contracted. The dorsal slab was removed after five, uh, four weeks. The dorsal slab was removed after four weeks. The strapping, that is the buddy taping between the little and the ring finger was kept for six weeks. Before that, the K wire were also removed at the end of five weeks. This is the scar from the donor area after three months. And this is the x-ray uh, taken recently. So fracture had healed well. The articular surface here seemed to be okay. There is There was combination and there is, uh, uh, yes, there's some loss of height of the proximal phalanx here. But this was the situation and we are here. At three months uh, post-op, patient has got a painless range of motion. He is able to do all his activities. He is not complaining of the about five to 10 degrees of flexion deformity, which he has got, which is flexible. And he's still working on that. Thank you.